Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. Welcome to our YouTube channel, and we're back at you guys with another video. Alright, so let's get started. Today, we will show you some cool features about a Befillier wound pancake coil invented by Nikola Tesla over 100 years ago. It's patent number 512,340. It talks about if using a coil of 1,000 churns, Befillier wound, the energy stored in the coil is 250,000 as great. Here, we have a book with most of Nikola Tesla's patents. Also, we have the patent we talked about in here. That extra amount of energy, or free energy, appears in the coil when the coil is tuned to resonate at its own natural resonance frequency. If the coil is not in resonance, it will consume more energy and perform less work. But when the coil is in resonance, it will get a lot more work done, and at the same time, the power intake from the battery will drop. The resonance frequency depends on the length of the wire in the coil, the resistance of the wire, and the input voltage and current. For this experiment, we are using about 9 watts of electrical energy. The frequency is around 4,000 pulses per second. Here, we have a small coil that picks up the signal and powers the speaker. It's only to show us that the coil has been energized. We will disconnect the coil and connect the light bulb instead. Now we will connect the light bulb through a diet. We will turn it back on and you will see that the light bulb will not work. The diet does not allow the current from the battery to flow to the light bulb. The current will energize the coil first. Then the energy will collapse and change direction and flow through the diet and into the light bulb. The light bulb will burn a lot brighter. For just a second, we will bypass the diet to better compare the difference in brightness with the pancake coil and without the pancake coil being connected. Here, we have two amp meters that are identical. This one here measures the current from the battery going to the coil. The other one here measures the current from the collapsing field energy coming out of the coil. The current is four times stronger. The pancake coil acts as a battery that adds additional current to the circuit. Now, we will repeat this experiment one more time. Here, we connected a rectifier that will convert AC to DC current. Here, we have a DC motor. First, we will run it straight through the battery and then we will use the collapsing field energy from the coil to run it. The speed of the motor will double and the torque of the motor will also double.
We connected the collapsing field energy to the battery. Now we will charge the battery. What's so cool about this is we are powering an inductive load and charging the battery at the same time, not using any additional energy. Thanks for watching everyone and make sure to subscribe because we have some really cool videos coming your way. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. And also, make sure to check out our website at www.mindoftesla.com or the link in the description. And we'll see you next time.